Hi, this is Kanna Babu. This is part 23 of Travel Biz project. So here customer will uh, select the from place. For example, here I am selecting Hyderabad to Vijayawada. And uh, here I will click on search bus. Then here it will display the uh, service number from place to place capacity bus type travel agency name fair departure time as well as arrival time we already discussed the screen in the last session so my requirement is whenever user clicks on select seat it has to display the service number from place to place capacity within these text boxes so within the select bus.aspx this is my grid view control and uh, within the grid view edit columns here i added the link button that, that is the template field and within the template field we added the link button we already discussed that one in the last session now whenever user clicks on the select sheet link button then a row command event will fire it means that whenever user clicks on any button control within the grid view control then row command event will fire so here select the grid view control go to the properties there you can go to the events double click on row command event, and we need to write the code so here before that uh, uh, just within the select bus.aspx, I'll go to the source code. And within this source code, here you can see template field, ASP colon template field. And within this one, we have taken the item template. And within that, I have declared the link button. So here, ASP colon link button, ID is equals to link button one, the end is equal to server. And link button will have this button control will have two properties actually. One is command name property, and the other one is command argument property. These two properties. One is command name, other one is command argument. So here, now I use the command argument property because actually whenever we are working with grid view control, the most powerful event is row command event. That is whenever we want to customize the uh, grid view control. Like within the grid view control, if you keep any link button or button control, then when user clicks on the button or link button, then automatically row command event will fire. And within that row command event, we need to cache the index value. In order to cache the index value, I am using the property called command argument. So command argument is equal to grid view row of container dot row index. Here this row index property is used to cache the index value of the row that is available within the grid view control where user clicks on the button control. So whenever user clicks on the uh, link button of first row, then the index value is zero. Is it clear? So here. It's so actually here grid view control displaying the data in two modes actually in static mode. Generally here the data is displayed within the label controls service number SV underscore two from place to place capacity bus type T name fare these all are the label controls. If you want to view that one you can see here go to the source code and there you can see and here you can see the, the ID of the label is label nine that is service number similarly label 10 is uh, label 8 from place and label 7 to place label 6 capacity something like that so you need to catch all the values that are available within that particular label for that i have written some code here you see i'll just explain this code here whenever user clicks on the select seat then automatically row command event will fire here you can observe is it clear now here i am catching the index value of the grid view row based on command argument property here the index value is what zero is it clear and uh, here uh, i want to count the number of rows that are available within the grid view control so how many rows are there only one row is there and the index value of the row is zero because always the index number starts from zero now i want to catch the label control so in order to that is available within this particular grid view row so there is one predefined method called find control method. This find control method is used to find the standard control label 9 that is available within that particular row. And what is the value that is available within that particular label SV underscore 2. And I want to display that particular service number in text box 10. Similarly, I have stored that value in uh, a session variable. Why I stored that variable you will understand in the next video. And here you see, similarly I am catching the label 8. So here I got the from place. Similarly label 7. Here I got the to place that is Vijayawada. So here similarly I got the travel agency name. Similarly here you can see bus type. Similarly here you got uh, 
here I got the values like uh, travel agency name. Here I got the fare. Similarly, here I got uh, the departure time. Similarly, here label uh, one. That is arrival time. So here basically I'm catching the values and uh, uh, storing the values in the text boxes. And apart from that, uh, here I stored all the values in the session variables. Why I stored, we'll uh, discuss in future classes so that you'll understand. So here you see, mm, now press F5 and check the output. Here you see, whenever you click on the link button, then row command event will fire. And uh, we are displaying all the values that are available within the grid view control in the text boxes. I hope you understood. Service number from place to place capacity, bus type, travel agency name, fare, departure time, arrival time. Now my next requirement is whenever user clicks on book seat, uh, I, I want to transfer all the, these values to the next place. That is the reason I stored the values in where session variables. That is the main reason why I stored the values in the session variables. So whenever user clicks on that uh, book seat button, it has to send all the values to the next page. That is the reason I have uh, stored all the values like service number in one session variable, from place, similarly, to place, session of variable name is equals to value, session of bus type, similarly, travel agency name, similarly, fare, similarly, departure time, similarly, arrival time, these all values I have stored within the session. See here, I want to design uh, one more page that is bookseats.aspx. So here, go to the project, add new item, and uh, select web form with master page. So here, I'll give the name as uh, uh, something like bookseat1.aspx. I'm creating one page. Click on add button. Click on OK button. I already designed that page. Just I'm showing you how to design. So now here. Initially, within that content placeholder, I'll go to the table, insert table, number of rows, actually 5 I will give, number of columns, I will give as 10. Is it clear? Click on OK. So, here your design will look like this. And within this, I will try to go to the toolbox. And here I will try to drag and drop the image button control. So, 5 rows are there and 5 columns are there. You have to adjust your design in this manner. Is it clear? So copy, this is not image, that is an image button, you have to observe that one. 2, 3, 4, 5, here you need to adjust like this. This layout you have to prepare clearly. Is it clear? So here it, it will look like this. Similarly, I will copy the same design and I will paste in the second row. Similarly, fourth row. Similarly, fifth row. Is it clear? And here I will uh, I will paste one more image so that it will look like your bus architecture. Now go to Solution Explorer. There I have created one folder called Images within the presentation layer, and there we have two images. One is just dot gif, other one is bi dot png. So select the image URL, image button. Go to the properties, select image URL. Here you can go to the images, select yes dot gif. So this is your uh, seat image, I have adjusted like this. Similarly, you just copy this one, right click, copy and try to remove this image buttons and simply paste it, right click, paste. Is it clear? Similarly, remove and here paste it. So to make the things faster, I already designed the, the screen. The name I have given as bookseats.aspx. So after complete design, your design will look like this, here you see. These all are image buttons. And here I have taken some labels. The IDs I have given for the label LBL SV number, LBL from place, LBL to place, LBL travel agency name, LBL fare, LBL departure time, LBL arrival time, DVL boarding point, and uh, some label one I have kept like that. And here if you observe clearly, I have given IDs for each and every button. Here you see, the ID I have given is I underscore 1. Here you see. And here the ID of this image button I have given is I underscore 2. Similarly, here if you observe I underscore 3, I underscore 4, I underscore 5, 6, something like that. Because these IDs only in future, they will become as what? Seat numbers. I will split this particular ID 
and uh, that 6 is will become the seat number here you can say the id is uh, i underscore 40 this is seat number 40 the middle one is uh, uh, i underscore 41 that is seat number 41 right why i have given i underscore 41 like that means in future i will try to split that uh, uh, number and that number is nothing but the seat number i hope you understood and here i have taken all the labels so here these are not image image button so here i want to give some small clarity what is the difference between hyperlink button and link button hyperlink button is generally used to what navigate the user request from one page to another page just if you want to navigate from one page to another page then go for hyperlink button something like in some websites you can see home page about us page when user clicks on home just it has to navigate to home page link button means here uh, previously we have seen with the grid view control when user clicks on select seat it has to perform some operation in that case you can go for link button similarly image versus what image button so when to go for image and when to go for image button if you want to simply display the image go for image but when you click on that image you want to perform some operation you have to write some code in that case you will go for image button so link button image button both are generally used to post back the request to the server hyperlink button just for navigation purpose image is just used to display the image so in our project here we have taken what image button so in order to understand just i will execute the project later we will discuss the code in the next screen so your user will select the bus ticket from hyderabad to vijayawada and here i will select the uh, date of journey and here when i click on search bus it has to display the bus details with the grid view control Whenever you click on select seat, it has to display the uh, grid view row details within the text boxes. We already done the code for that. Now when user clicks on book seat, it has to navigate to what? Book seats dot ASPX. And uh, here I want to display the service number as we underscore to from place. That is the customer has booked the ticket from Hyderabad to Vijayawada. Travel agency name is Case Nani. Fare is 600. Departure time 7 pm. Arrival time 4 am. Boarding point. Here we need to display the pickup points the, of the bus which is starting at Hyderabad. The pickup points of Hyderabad. And now when user clicks on the seats, I want to display the seat number here. Is it clear here? You see the seat number is 1 and 2. Similarly, here the seat number is 10 and 9. So, how, so in the next video, I will clearly explain the code that how to, uh, how this functionality is working and everything. So, in order to display the values in these labels and, uh, and for that reason only we store the values in where? Session variables. Is it clear? I hope you understood. In the next video, we will discuss about uh, how to implement this code. For more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as Facebook group. Have a nice day. Thank you.